Well, I guess I'm voiding the warranty. Don't care. There's no more warranty on this thing, so let's break her open. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and open this thing up here. Um, I've already taken the screws out. Uh, there's uh, three here along the side, two along the back side, and then another three on this side down here. So once you're done with that, you can pop the cover off. And you're greeted with a very small board. Very small board. Um, and the hard drive. So I was able to go fish around my, my shop and I found another drive that's exactly the same thing. It's about three years older than this one, but this one's been on for 24-7 for a number, number of years. We're just going to go ahead and remove the drive. There's four screws at the bottom. Just going to take those out. There's one, two, two and a half, uh, three, and uh, four, which I guess you can technically unscrew it and then pop the drive out like that without having to remove the screws completely. But. All right, so now we're left with uh, two cables. This is a SATA drive. Uh, so this is common in, in very much of your standard everyday PC kind of thing. That's why I have an extra one of these. Uh, let's see. So this is your SATA cable. You want to push down on the little silver tab there. Pull that out. This is power, so just pull it on out. This, is, this drive is most likely dead. So uh, I'll test it later and make sure that it is, but... For the most part, it seems like it's not wanting to work at all. Now, all we have to do is, uh, well, we can probably put these in here slightly, just to slide it in and then tighten it down later. So we'll, we'll do that now. There's one, two, Two and a half. Why is this not wanting to go in? Right, I'm gonna... If it strips, it fits, right? No. Okay. Uh, this one here. And I have one more down at the bottom underneath here. I don't see your camera on anymore. It's still okay. recording. Yeah. It just, just went sleepy time for a minute. So I think I dropped the other one because I don't feel it in there. Um, so we're going to go ahead and replace this as normal. Just put the, uh, make sure you have the tabs. There's a tab on the upper portion over here which meets with the tab uh, let's see that way yep so you got the tab down there you got the tab on this side just make sure they fit appropriately if I can see here why is this not going in all right let's try the other one first you know this one goes up because it's got the tab in it there we go. and then Double so we'll check this again here. That goes this way. That wants to go that way. Why is that not wanting to go in? The other way? No. Tab's down there. There we go. Alright, and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, slide this in. So push it down with the screws already in it. Slide it back if you can. Nope, can't do that. It is not allowed, I guess. Uh, let's see, where are we at? Uh, cable's in the way. Uh, okay, so line it up. Push it in. If they're too tight, then you can obviously 
or you just saw these screws to get it in a little easier. It's kind of a tease. Alright, let's do this. Push in. Screw out. Just tap it. There we go. So now that those are in, I can put these in and then reassemble. Uh, I'll go ahead and sh sh format the hard drive here to show you how that's done. And then uh, hopefully have a working DVR again. Put that down in there. And then uh, obviously installation is reverse of what you did before. So, all right, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and button this thing back up. And then uh, I'm going to plug it into the TV. Uh, format the drive and then uh, we'll go from there all right okay so i've got the uh, D dvr uh, connected back up again uh, the good sign is when i plugged it in i can hear the hard drive spin up which it didn't do before so we're going to go and go to uh menu we're going to go to hard drive and then we're going to go okay we got the same side of the thing unutilized raw we're going to do uh click here and we're going to go down to format hard drive. So it's doing its thing right now, which is good. Um, awesome. So we have now the equivalent free space that we do for the capacity. The other drive that seems like the, the, the motor drive, uh, uh, for the platter failed and uh, it, it would read it as a certain thing but it wouldn't write uh, playback became sort of uh, wonky you would get like sh ghost and shadow figures uh, and then the hard drive would make some horrible noises sometime uh, but anyways uh, this one's been a good unit I had a, other previous night owl cameras and they seem to do well uh, this one doesn't have any fans in it like the other one did I had uh, it seems like they've kind of uh, uh, figured things out in this new revision. So uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, leave them in the description down below. Thanks again, once again for watching. Uh, and as always, do your thing.